Hey everyone, I usually go by neat code or just neat, and today I wanted to briefly share my story about how I was able to get promoted at Google after one year as a software engineer, and this was without any prior full-time experience, so from junior to mid-level engineer. So first, I graduated in 2020, I was unemployed and pretty much at rock bottom, so I started the Neat Code YouTube channel, and it made me feel a little less lonely in my interview preparation journey. About a year after that, I was fortunate enough to get a full-time offer from Google. Looking back, I'm still a bit surprised that they're the only company that gave me a chance, but I guess things worked out. And when I joined, I was just so nervous because I really wanted to make the most of this opportunity. And while I definitely wanted a promotion, my goal wasn't to get one as quickly as possible, to be honest. But looking back, I wanted to share a few things that I think made a difference. The first one I want to get out of the way is the luck factor. And probably the most important luck variable is your manager. Of course, your manager has to be supportive of your promotion, otherwise you don't have a huge chance of success. But even beyond that, you have to be given work to actually demonstrate your abilities. Typically as a junior, your manager will be directly assigning you tasks. And I ended up having an exceptional manager. For my starter project, we wanted to go with a simple one, but it ended up being a lot more complicated than we expected. This is kind of another luck factor. Because like I said, it wasn't the intention to give me a project that might be above the L3 or junior engineer scope, but it ended up just happening. Now, at the end of the day, of course, you do have to deliver. And looking back, the thing I did that made the biggest difference is definitely working independently. That's kind of my personality style to begin with. But to be honest, I was also a bit nervous to ask questions. I didn't want people to think I was dumb. That's not a tip, though. Definitely ask questions when you need to, but sometimes it's okay to try things out yourself. Yes. If you're surrounded by smart people, you should take advantage of that and ask them questions. But of course, they have a limited time to help you. But believe it or not, you will learn a lot just by being around them. I'm so shocked at how much I was able to learn in just one year. And I definitely attribute that to some really, really smart teammates. I think it's similar to how people learn new human languages like Spanish or English. If you're just sitting in a room by yourself trying to learn Spanish, it's probably not going to work out well. But if you go to Mexico and you're surrounded by people who are speaking Spanish, it's going to get a lot easier. I think coding works similarly. That said, I don't think my coding skills are what made me stand out. I think they were pretty average for an L3, but I do think my persistence in dealing with a lot of issues that came up in the project, there really were a lot. Every day I felt like I was just banging my head against a wall, but I never gave up. There were times I would go two, three days on like a single issue and I would be going it alone. I wouldn't ask my team for help. I would give my status update and stand up. I'm still working on this issue. I'm still stuck, but I'm gonna try X, Y, and Z today. And maybe sometimes a teammate would say, hey, X worked for me in the past. And I'd say, oh, cool, I'll give it a try. I would say, that's the bulk of the help that I ended up receiving. Another differentiator was my soft skills. In my opinion, my communication was a little bit better than most L3s. I didn't work with a ton of them, but I think on average, I'm pretty good at breaking down the work that I'm doing for like the specific person. Like I can change the level of detail needed depending on who I'm talking to, which I think is pretty important. When you're working on a tough project that has deadlines, you want to be pretty proactive in giving status updates. Anytime I ran into issues, I would let my manager know. That doesn't mean that they would find something someone to help me do it, but I would just give them a heads up so that if the project was running behind, that they would know as soon as possible. And I think this allowed me to build a lot of trust with my manager. I was always honest. I wouldn't try to over-exaggerate things and try to toot my own horn. I would say, hey, I'm struggling with X, Y, and Z, but I think I am making progress, things like that. So these are kind of my strengths and weaknesses that led to my promotion. I will say that for your first promotion though, you probably do want to focus on your coding skills more than your soft skills. At least you want to have a baseline proficiency of coding skills. 